This week on Makers Lab TV, branding a chill lounge, vinyl printing on t-shirts, and a truck wrap. Clients approached me wanting to opening up a very vintage looking, nostalgic looking venue. Uh, that being said, we had to go with a theme, and the theme we chose was Mary Jane's. The venue was fitted with posters on the walls to help create that nostalgic feeling of yesteryear. And licensed disc stickers were randomly stuck all over the place, and even handed out for promotional purposes. For the entrance stamp, Riley came up with a unique design that suited the theme perfectly. It's quite amazing what one can do with these laser machines from AM. Very cool. Using the engraver, I also cut out a stencil of the cannabis leaf, which they then applied to the floor with spray paint, leaving a very cool pattern effect on the floor. So a client asked me to create something for women's rights campaign awareness. The brief was to put it on a black shirt, make sure it was colourful, it popped and had a statement to it. The process I chose was full colour print vinyl, contour cut and then heat pressed onto a shirt. Riley chose a standard vinyl for cotton t-shirts and used Echo Solvent ink for printing. Using a 45 degree blade, the design was then cut out on the vinyl cutter and weeded. Remember that video we did on the freezer for Ice of Africa? Well, they asked us to do a truck, and looking at the truck, it isn't in the greatest condition. Instead of buying a new truck and wrapping it, it'll be a lot easier for them and cost effective if we did it on this old truck. Make it look as good as new, as best as we can. Once happy with the design, a large format printer was used for the printing. And the print was then laminated to give the final product that extra protection against the elements. Once I'd done the snack shack, I had moved on to something else, something that you can collect now from this venue. I had done an idea of coins, and each coin had a symbol on it. Collect all 10 coins, and then you win a prize. And you can see that the old vintage coins do look pretty cool. Each have its, its own symbol and variation of an idea of a different strain of cannabis. With the PVC banner that we did inside on the staircase, we had to try and keep it dark but not too bright and to make sure that when people arrived they knew where they were. And that being said, we went for a nice army green with a mottled yellow effect with the logo popping in the middle. All done with the large format printer. For the outside sign, to make sure that people knew where they were going, we had to use vibrant colors to make sure it was popping out so people could see it which worked great with our new three-year ink from AM. Once happy with the weeding, it was off to the heat pressing. And boom, an explosion of colors on a black t-shirt always looks great. So the prints came out really well. I'm really happy with the colors. They're extremely bright. This one has a statement to it. Woman's rights. I mean, don't mess with it. This is what she wanted. I'm very happy and I think she's gonna like this. Looking at the truck, we did the best we could and I'm really happy with it. It's made it look a lot newer than it used to be 
and I'm very happy with the outcome of it and I really hope they are too. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.